Uber's biggest competition in the growing Southeast Asia market is a name you may not have heard, Grab. The smaller ride-hailing app is winning more customers than Uber here with a product tailored to the region's needs. In places where few people have credit cards, the app has allowed drivers and passengers to use cash since its launch. Grab also led the way with motorcycle taxis, which let users cut through traffic-clogged cities. Grab offers package delivery services in a region where many e-commerce startups struggle to get items to customers in places lacking good roads and formal addresses. In Indonesia, it even added points of interest like roadside stalls to its maps. There's also a carpooling service. It allows people to share rides to places like Singapore from southern Malaysia where living costs are cheaper. Uber has also adopted some services like cash payments and motorcycle taxis. Right now, Grab operates out of 30 cities in Southeast Asia compared with Uber's 15. But Uber has a bigger war chest. It's currently valued at $68 billion and has raised $14 billion for global expansion. In comparison, Grab, which is valued at $1.6 billion, has raised $700 million from investors. At stake is an increasingly lucrative market. Southeast Asia is home to more than 600 million people, nearly double that of the U.S. Its ride-booking market is expected to grow more than five times from last year through 2025. There is a growing middle class here and services prepared to shift gears to meet them.